welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And we're back with another double blind head to head where we compare two samples completely double blind. Mm -hmm. We don't know what we're drinking, but we draw them from our sample pool and it could be available versus allocated, expensive versus inexpensive. We nose them, we taste them, we mm -hmm. let you know what we think about mm -hmm. them, and then we find out the price before we find out what we're drinking so that you get the most honest opinions possible. Yep. Let's go ahead and get into glass one. If you like this style of content, by the way, go ahead and like the video and yeah. subscribe to the channel. This is what we do over here. Yeah. So glass one on the nose. <laughs> so this may or may not be helpful, but I'm getting typical bourbon flavors on the nose like vanilla caramel oak but then i'm also getting a lot of alcohol yeah which, dude thank you so much but, for saying that but it's alcohol so i always i expect to get alcohol oh no but this is a different type of yeah. alcohol this is an attacking alcohol oh you feel attacked yeah i feel personally attacked oh, by this glass all right now i will say your caramel vanilla oak yeah that bedrock is there. Yeah, it's very much on the foundation, but there's a lot right. of ethanol this is like off a, the glass. This is like a dog that's very sweet if you know it, but if you don't know it and you just tread into this scenario where you're tasting it double uh, blind. It's like not super cool. It attacks you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Because it is attacking on the proof. Mm. Would you like to taste it? Are you scared? I actually would like to taste it. Okay. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. Like it, it smells all the classic bourbon notes. It has a little bit of peanut butteriness on it. Okay. And I really, I do like that. Mm -hmm. Let's get it on the palate and see what we're working okay. with. Wow. So to be fair, I did about five minutes ago, have a spoonful of peanut butter. Yeah, it's peanut buttery. But I am getting peanut on this. So take that for what you will, whether it's influenced by the fact that I just had peanut butter, maybe. The but I am getting peanut on this. The sharpness is what's throwing me off here. Because there is a sharpness there. Mm -hmm. It's on but the nose. It's on the palate. There's a sharpness, but there's also a fruitiness. Like I'm I'm getting like a... a like a black cherry. Like a dark fruit. Like yeah, a plum. Black cherry. Or a black cherry or something dark. I can see plum too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another sip. Yeah. I'm getting dark fruit. I'm going to allot my peanut taste to the fact that I had peanut butter about five minutes ago. I know that wasn't super smart, but I needed to have some food on my, in my system. So peanut butter was what I wanted. So I got it. I think for me, the spice has tamed down, mm -hmm. the alcohol forwardness has tamed down and I'm getting black cherry, mm -hmm. peanut butter straight across. Mm -hmm. It's both of those things at the same time. That being said though, I will say i think there's some proof here oh yeah for sure i think there's some oomph here there's some spice kind of lingering in the back of my palate that i don't think i would get on a lower proof pour so i do think it's like mid-teens at least proof yeah 120 plus yeah to mid, me. i'd say like 114 plus yeah. up let's go ahead and get in the glass too okay see what we're getting on the nose okay let's go oh this smells oh. nice oh it's like powdery Powdery, but not like old, powder sugar. but not old, not dusty. No, like not in a compared to glass one, which is real sharp on the nose. Mm -hmm. This is way more rounded, mm -hmm. fluffy, fluffy, just beautiful. I would say fluffy. Yeah. I wouldn't say powdery. I would say fluffy. Man, that smells really good. This smells. This yeah. smells delicious. I'm not saying it's dissimilar to glass one in the flavors on the nose. You don't get flavors on the nose, but you know what I mean. Yeah, the, it. The this same flavor notes. Similar to glass one, but maybe older. Yeah, it's more well rounded, mm -hmm. a little bit more library bookish. Mm -hmm. So it smells really great. Like, I'm loving this over glass one on the nose. Let's get into the palette yeah. and see what we're working First with. impression, but oh man, y'all, I shouldn't have, I should not have. Did you go back? I went back and I got some honeysuckle on glass one. I can see honeysuckle. I can see barrel char. Oh, this is going to be interesting when we take some more time with this, but let's, let's focus two, on glass two. Yeah, glass two is definitely seemingly a little bit more well-rounded, but glass one is quite vibrant. So yeah. we're in a juxtaposition here yeah. on the palette. Okay. This is pretty solid. It's pretty... I feel like standard, what I would expect at a bourbon, it doesn't come across, it doesn't taste as proofy as it smells. It drinks very like even and balanced. They taste the same. 
Do they? Why do they taste the same? I don't know. I'm going to need to taste them they a little both closer have in succession. A, they both have a peanut buttery note. I got the peanut. Yep. Glass two has a little bit more oak backing it. Mm -hmm. Glass one has a little bit more fruit backing it, but they're very, very similar. It almost seems like glass two might be like an older version of glass one or like the same family, like a, an older cousin of glass one or something like that. Yeah, maybe. And I don't disagree with that, but the problem is, is I think the younger version might be better, well, at least on first impression. Let's take some time. So we, we have our first impressions. Let's go second sip on glass two. Oh, okay. We didn't do that. Okay. Second sip on glass two. Okay. It's still pretty balanced. It's more oak on the second sip. Yep. And I think the oak that's there is a little bit bitter and a little bit sharp. It's a little drying, I would drying, say. Drying, mm -hmm. sharp. This is going to be very interesting because I think on paper, glass two should be Better. the pick, mm. but I'm not sure that glass one is not the more preferable pour, at least our palate. Interesting. My palate. Yeah. Is. Let's, let's, we're going to AB compare. We're going to start with glass two. We're going to go back to glass one, kind of reverse order. Um, and we'll do that off camera right now. Yep. We'll be back in a second. All right, super interesting. Yeah. I am very torn between these two. Where are you at? I'm also kind of torn. I have a preference. I prefer glass two. Really? Yes. Okay, why? Only because it's a little bit darker. It is darker. And I'm feeling that. Like the glass one is a little more bright and kind of what I equate to youth. Yep, I agree with and that. I, yep. I'm not. I'm not into that today. So glass one for me gets a just okay. Class two gets thumbs up. Really? Yes. Okay. And also that will change depending on the price. If it's super expensive, I might change my mind. I'm going to go thumbs up on both. I really, really like both of these. Mm -hmm. The experience, the flavor profile, everything is right on track with what I like. Yeah. They're both a little bit like Reese's peanut butter cups to me. They're similar, but I feel like glass two is like the older cousin of glass one. I agree. Glass one is brighter, a little bit sharper, which I kind of wasn't feeling today. And I don't disagree with that. But sometimes you want a brighter, sweeter, mm -hmm. lighter profile. Yeah. And to yeah. me, glass one is coming across tonight being really nice. Yeah, okay. So That's for fair. me, they're both very similar. They're cut from the same cloth, as it were. So glass two, thumbs up. I like it. It's dark. It's rich. But you prefer glass one. Mm -hmm. Ever so slightly. Okay. That's fair. Like it's fair. honestly, it's a flip of the coin between these two. I'm really torn. I can't wait to find out what yeah, they are. We're going to find it. out price first and then we're going to find out what we've been drinking. Okay. We're going to find out price and see if that changes our ratings. So we're, I'm thumbs up on both. Yep. You are. Just okay. Thumbs up. Glass number one is number 71 and okay. glass number two is number 72. So price on glass number one. $60. Probably my preferred of the two. 60. Slightly. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm saying thumbs up. That's not a bad price. Are you saying just okay? Um, yeah. Hold on. Oh, she's got to do this. Yeah, I'm saying just okay. Okay. Glass number two, 72. $80. I'm staying thumbs up. I'm going to stay thumbs up. It's a little bit pricier than I am comfortable paying. However, I did prefer it. So I'm going to stay thumbs up. All right. 60, what's glass 80. number one? My preferred, your least preferred. Glass number one is, is? Larceny Barrel Proof. C922. Oh, wow. And that is 126.6 proof. It comes across like that. Nutty, yeah. sweet, caramelly. Is Larceny known for nuttiness? Yeah. Okay. What's glass number two? So <laughs> I do want to say I'm super happy that I got nuttiness. However, I'm, I'm positive it was because I had peanut butter before this. Maybe. But, but you associate what you taste with what you taste. So. However, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the win. What's glass number two? Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C922. Oh, wow. 
Um, and that is 124.8 proof. Okay. So this matchup was put in our head to head blind sample pool because these are from the same distillery, Heaven Hill. Oh, wait. They were from the same cloth. They were cut from the they same cloth. They were cut from the same cloth. We were right. And what we wanted to do was to highlight do you want to gravitate towards a weeded product or towards the rye based bourbon? Mm, this checks out. Yes. So Elijah Craig is a rye base. Yep. I do yep. not know that. And Larceny is a wheat-based bourbon, so this this is very interesting. I am nothing if not consistent, if you guys have watched the channel. She likes her weeded bourbons very specifically Maker's in small Mark. doses. Maker's Mark is like the only weeded product that I particularly like. Wow. Okay, so Larceny came across more sweet, and I will say this is the best batch of Larceny Barrel Proof I've had in a long time. Really? But ECBP is a staple. You cannot go wrong with it. I mean, yeah. I honestly don't think you can go wrong with either one of these at retail if you want to pick them up. Yeah. If you like a little bit of a peanut buttery, kind of peanut butter and toast, peanut butter and jelly profile, mm. these are going to fit your palate it's really peanut well. peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. But look, if you don't like peanut butter and jelly, don't buy either one of these. I think mm. that's the important note here. Like, don't buy these if you don't like toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, although I will say the ECBP doesn't necessarily have a specific peanut taste uh, as far as, like I picked up the peanut on the Larceny, not as much on the ECBP. Yeah, and the Larceny's, to note, quite a bit younger, probably I, six or I, I seven to that, eight yeah. year batches yeah. versus 12 year batches yeah. for the ECBP. But if you find a Larceny barrel proof at retail, 60 bucks, 70 bucks, you know, maybe I, pick it up. If maybe you, if you like a weeded profile. And if you like the Heaven Hill profile, because it's very Heaven Hill. Okay. If you like ECBP, go ahead and just buy the new badge. Yeah, I would not mm -hmm. spend your money in a Larceny if you know you don't particularly like a weeded profile. Yeah. I, I typically don't like weeded profile pours. Yeah. So I would spend my money on, a, on an Elijah Craig. Yeah. Hopefully this video was informative to you. If you liked it, like the video. Yeah. If you like this style of content, then subscribe to the channel. And if you want to join us on a live stream for a pour, go ahead and click that bell down there. It will let you know we're going live. We do it once a month. Yep. We'd love for you to join us. Absolutely. That's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time. Cheers. cheers.